Council will now vote to appoint a part-time veterans agent. The town administrator will lead this discussion. Ed? Well, we have, uh, um, we received uh, over 20 applicants and uh, I asked uh, Mr. Tribuco and um, Mr. Bolter um, to review the applicants and to come up with their short list. And uh, we came up with a short list and uh, uh, Dan and Bill and I interviewed uh, two candidates. We invited three, and uh, one person chose not to uh, attend, so we interviewed uh, two individuals, and I'll leave it with uh, Dan at this point. Sure. Uh, as Ed, Ed spoke of, we had interviews with the, the, the two uh, people, two applicants that, that came in, uh, both uh, wonderful candidates from a pool, I might add, uh, very good candidates, very good and promising candidates, uh, but we did have to distill it down to uh, a short list, uh, which we did to three. Uh, the two candidates that did show up for an interview um, were both very well qualified, uh, and either one would have made a, w would make a, a, a great veterans agent. Uh, we discussed uh, the committee, Bill, myself, and uh, town administrator. Uh, discussed the merits of uh, each one uh, after after the interviews, and we came up with a unanimous decision uh, that Robin Renee Kernan uh, should be uh, the applicant that that we would endorse. Uh, uh, Ms. Kernan has been an active member uh, of the town, active member of the American Legion. Uh, you've seen her uh, all around, and in. in Town Affairs and Veterans Affairs. Uh, she is a veteran herself and a spouse of a veteran. Uh, and we found that her skills, her personality, uh, and what we believe that she can offer the town and services and help to the veterans, both uh, in a technical aspect uh, on applications and on a personal level of uh, uh, veterans, uh, dealing with the veterans and uh, some of the sensitive issues that, that develop in, the, in their life, uh, especially uh, after they've completed their service. Uh, anything from uh, post-traumatic uh, stress disorder to uh, uh, physical ailments, uh, she seems very well qualified to assist uh, every veteran that we have in every capacity that, that she needs to. So it was a unanimous decision, uh, and I speak for Bill. Uh, uh, Bill Bolter is not here today, uh, and we discussed it uh, the night of that meeting knowing that he wouldn't be here today and he's given me uh, his full blessing for me to uh, put Robin or Renee Crennan forth uh, as the unanimous decision and having said that uh, this board has as the resumes of, of the candidates in front of you uh, you have had a chance to review it um, and I'd like to put it out there for for the board's discussion and I'd like it to be a full board discussion and vote. Mr. Chairman, based on the uh, work of the subcommittee and my knowledge of uh, Robin Kernan and the work that she's done, um, you know, getting meals to veterans and doing all the things that are behind the scenes that make uh, the parades happen and make, um, you know, a lot of the activities go, um, she's a terrific candidate and um, Unless somebody's got something they want to add, I would move the uh, name of uh, Robin Kernan for a uh, veterans agent. So I have one more comment to say. Uh, I spoke with Bill and about this in the past, and I agree with what Dan and Ed have said. I think Robin's a great candidate for this position, and I fully support her. Uh, the comment I have is I have gone through both of the resumes from the candidates, and we truly got two uh, very good people to apply for this job. Uh, one gentleman that applied, he has a great deal of experience and uh, he's very well educated, so that always goes a long way when you have a resume. But when I read um, Mrs. Kernan's, uh, she too has a lot to offer, especially working in the town of Pembroke with the residents of the town and she's been recommended by uh, two very credible 
people that we that we all know, and uh, so I would uh, agree that uh, we have placed the determination in the hands of two selectmen and the town administrator, and uh, I feel that uh, I don't really see anything here that would deter me from voting and supporting the motion made by Selectman Boyle. Other than a second, which hasn't been made yet. Then I will second the motion. So there's been a motion and a second. I'm now take a call of the yeas and nays. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? It's unanimous. Very good. I wish her well. Um, I have full confidence in her, and I was a, a, a part of the committee that uh, selected Dave McPhillips. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is um, my second go around for a veterans agent, and hopefully we do we did as well this time as we did in the past. Yeah, I, I'd just like to say that when the board came up uh, with this issue that we had to deal with and uh, we uh, appointed uh, Bill and Dan, uh, we did so with a reason because of their experience in this area and that we all felt that they could represent the board. Uh, and so I think that's why the vote has gone this way. And we did have two great candidates, but they were vetted properly and with people with experience. All right, we'll now move on to a vote to accept the minutes of May 9th and May 15th. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would move that the board accept the minutes of May 9th, 9th 2017 as written. Second. There's been a motion and a second. I'll take a call of the yeas and nays. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That's unanimous.